Please join us today for the final in the pandemic indoor gardening for the season. In this series, we are actually going to go ahead and show you the harvest and actually show how we are acclimating and moving to the outside and also some announcements for this year's growing. Please join us. We just got back from the Michigan Giant Pumpkin Growing Seminar. And, and what did we get, Jack? The heaviest tomato. We won the heaviest tomato in Michigan? 5.5 5 pounds and 46 ounces. 5.46 5 pounds. Heaviest tomato in Michigan grown in 2020. Jackson and I grew last summer. Woo! The worm. We'll link this back to the worm tomato. And check it out. And here is the offspring from the worm trophy winning tomato plant. We are growing this tomato here. This is the Domingo, Italian Domingo beefsteak tomato plant that we are growing in the 10 gallon grow bag next to our green pepper plant. And so what we're doing is we just took some plants down. We gave them to the group. We gave those guys, uh, how many tomato plants we give away, Jack? Um, we gave away three. Three? And they're going to take them home and grow them. Um, what I like here is I've actually lowered the plant down into the tub and so now the light is up here and we're going to let it grow up. They, they were getting kind of close to the light. I had noticed a little bit of kind of stress from being too close to the light. You can tell the, the radishes, our radishes are kind of stressed out, looking a little dry. But Jackson wanted to pull up a beet. He said, Grandpa, I want to pull up a beet. Oh boy, by himself. So this, in the corner. you're going to pull that up? We're gonna harvest our beets in the pandemic garden. What do we got? All right, and shake, squeeze the dirt off it. Well, basically these are only, well, what are they, a little five, six weeks old? We're growing them mostly for uh, greens, for beet greens. Okay. I love greens, turnip greens, beet greens, not so much for the beet, because this is what we got right here. It looks like they probably should have been planted a little bit deeper, but the greens, I can eat these. These yes. What you do is you cook them. You cook them and you you cook them in some uh, water, like steam cook them. Or can you eat them raw? You can eat them raw. You could. Can I eat them raw? Yeah, go ahead. Try it. See what you think. How's it taste? Not bad. Is it not bad? Here, let me. Not bad. Take another bite. Uh -huh. Is it all right? All right, maybe I'll try some. Oh, what's up, Doc? Oh my gosh, what the heck? You don't need the purple part? Wow, mm, it's a little bitter, a little tangy. Pretty good. What's up, Doc? Okay. Jackson's part rabbit. All right, pandemic gardening, enjoying the veggies, enjoying the fruits of our labor. Oh, the purple part tastes nasty. Does it? Yeah. It <laughs> All right. All right, Jackson's spitting it out. <laughs> All yeah. right, let's keep them growing, man. So, looking at the beets, hindsight being 2020, I think we should have planted them a little bit deeper, but they're still, they're great for greens. I love greens. I'll eat any kind of greens, turnip greens. You gotta love it. But yes, if I was planting these again, I would plant them a little bit deeper. As you can see, some of the beets, the ball part of the beet is actually above soil. So harvesting that. We're gonna kind of draw it to a close on the pandemic garden as it's getting time to start our plants outside. The lettuce trough, I didn't replant the lettuce trough and the lettuce is some of it starting to grow back after it got ran over by the lawnmower. You can see that back in the last video. And the green pepper is sprouting all kinds of new growth. All right, new sprouts are popping up. I had to, uh, the green pepper had stopped growing, so I went ahead and harvested it, cut it off. And we are gonna grow this all summer. I'm excited, I'm thinking I'll be eating green peppers in June. 
I'm going to get this plant moved outside here in a few more weeks on the deck and we'll be growing up there. So hey, join us. Our dairy do giveaway will be coming up soon. And we're going to give away some dairy do products, some seeds, some worm do. And join us this summer for community gardening, giant pumpkin growing. We're going to have build your own greenhouse with wooden repurposed pallets. That will all be coming at you. And can we do it again? Can we grow the heaviest tomato in Michigan in 2021? So join us for that. Please post your questions and comments below what you would like to see us do. And with your tomato tips, I'm actually going to, what I'm gonna do is let this tomato grow up this stake and get as much shaft as possible. I'm gonna do that with a couple of these tomatoes that are in this container and get really long stems and then replant them out in the garden and we'll see how they do this summer. We have more tomato plants here. One of my favorite plants of all, tomatoes, growing tomatoes. Please post below, what kind of tomatoes do you like? What are your favorite tomatoes? When do you start them? Any tips you might share with us, we'd appreciate that. All right, keep them growing. We're out here today at the new growing site, the Mitchell Farm, taking my soil test so I can decide what nutrients, amendments. It's beautiful out here. It's March 21st. There you go. There's the lake, Mitchell Lake. Yeah. Yes. There you go. See it in the back? That's the lake where we pump the pumpkin water. Pump, pump it up, pump it up, baby. We're gonna blow them up. 3,000 pounds are bust! Join us for the community garden and growing giant pumpkins at the Mitchell Farm. All right, keep them growing. Bubba and Eri, growing big pumpkins in 2021. Please join us. Welcome, it's March 21st. And I tell you what it's time for. It's time to start acclimating the plants. And I'm gonna show you what I came up with to do this this year. These have been totally have, I gave three plants away yesterday at the Michigan Giant Pumpkin Seminar and I warned the people, these are not acclimated. Do not take them directly out in the sun in the heat of the day, you will fry them. So right now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna slowly acclimate them. Okay, it's 5.30 Sunday evening, March 21st. And what I've done is I brought these out of the Bubba tub and out here and I put them in my new little greenhouse. I always took Eri over to buy some cover crop. He's planting rye in the garden this week and some turnip and radishes for a cover crop. And what I'm gonna do is set up my greenhouse. I set this up, took me probably, I don't know, 30 to 45 minutes. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I figured it out. Now I'm not being, I'm not endorsing this brand. I'm not being sponsored by this brand. It's just one I happened to pick up. It was $119. And I thought, well, this will be nice. And I could probably also use this out to the Mitchell farm. I may use this, set this up out there, just to put my supplies in this summer, make a little shed out of it. But here you go. We're gonna slowly, 5.30. So they're only getting the evening sun. And as you can see, it's also shielded by this six mil. This has gotta be at least six mil plastic. This is filtering, I would guess, at least 30% of the harsh sun. So they're gonna get the morning sun tomorrow morning, a little bit of the evening sun tonight. It's gonna to get down to 45. I'm gonna leave them out here. They'll be all right. 45 degrees won't hurt them. And then tomorrow, if it's real sunny out, I'll come home on my lunch hour and I'll set them over on the bench because it's always shady on the bench. So tomorrow from say 11 a.m., till four or five, they'll be on the bench. When I come home at five, 5.30, I'll put them back over here in the full sun. So I'll do that for three, four days and let them gradually acclimate so we don't fry the leaves. You will fry your leaves if they get really, really brown. You'll know you fried them. They'll look scorched. These are just tender, tender fragile little babies. 
my Domingos, beef steak Domingos from Italy. So there you go. That's how you acclimate your tomato plants. Just gradually take baby steps. All right. Keep them growing. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on the videos. And check out our seed page. We have seeds for sale from champion growers around the world. Watermelons, tomatoes, giant pumpkins, field pumpkins, bushel gourds, cantaloupes. Check us out. It's an awesome page. And thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining us today. Please come back, y'all.